guys what's up welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title today I'm gonna be talking to you guys well actually sharing um, your guys's darkest secrets I thought it would be inter interesting to not only react and share I'm obviously not gonna be sharing who they're from but I also want to kind of give my little input or advice um of course you guys do not have to take it this is just like my opinion and you know what I would do in your situation before I do get into this video though I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications and give me a like and yeah you guys so let's get started so and if you guys do hear like some noise or some crying in the background some whining you guys already know that I do have a Chiyona daughter so she's probably gonna be crying at some point so I am gonna be sharing that with you guys and along with me I do have a drink I would you guys already know that whenever I do sit down videos um, especially my story times I like to go michelada with you guys but we actually don't have any beer in the house we don't have they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine we don't even have ice guys so I made myself what I could I had a little bit of cranberry and a little bit of bucana so that's it's really cold actually um because the cranberry juice was in the fridge but the I mean it's just you know there has to be ice in the mixed drink the first one started off a little deep she said or he so they said I had an affair with my married boss been married now 15 years Mira, Mira, 15 years, I guess it was meant to be, but don't don't be doing that, everyone. My mom hates my hubby because he's 14 years older than me. Now that I have a daughter, I see it differently. Like, I don't know how I would be, you know, if my daughter decided to be with a guy that, that much older than her. But then again, Sergio and I are seven or eight years um, apart. So, I mean, when you think about it, guys don't mature for a really long time if they ever do i'm just kidding but they take a while so you're kind of like the same age basically um somebody else said i get depressed every time my husband verbally abuses me this is really heartbreaking that makes me really sad actually because you should not be tolerating that and i hope that you find peace and you find the strength to leave that relationship because even if it's verbal abuse it still it hurts you and you should not be ever putting up with that i don't know what your history is with him you know but i do hope that you are able to work it out because it's never okay for someone to verbally abuse you i have been abused in the past verbally as well so i know how difficult and how it can put you down every single day and trust me there is a light at the end of the tunnel it seems like it's never gonna end and you cannot leave them but you can it's Trust me, you just have to find the boss to do it. I told my husband I deleted my IG and I just blocked him and his family. That is hilarious. <laughs> Got it. That is smart. Hmm. Me and my boyfriend have been together for five years and I feel like I'm still not ready for marriage. I feel like I wish you could um, share this and people would talk about this way more. I actually watch The Real. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a TV show and it's like there's a lot of women of color like myself that talk about you know just everyday struggles and things like that and they did bring this up one time uh, they brought up the topic of how long is too long to be engaged to someone and I thought that was really interesting because a lot of people just wonder why you get engaged and why you haven't got married and a lot of times it's because you're maybe just not ready or you are still having some fights you know some things can still come up even with marriage even if you are married you know they're gonna keep coming up and sometimes if you don't want to get married then don't i feel like it should never be something that's pressured because then it takes out the excitement and then you don't want to you know like what's the point of that so take your time if you do not feel ready then you don't feel ready and that's it i mean everyone takes longer than you know people take longer than other people and not just because everyone's doing it means you have to so i mean we've been together for seven years we have been engaged for like three years and i know we could easily go and get married but it's not something that it's really like oh my gosh something that we have to do that it's like no se puede esperar you know and it's like i feel like right now it's like we're having so many not problems with our relationship but it's just like a lot of things are coming up and it's just not something that we are making our priority but hopefully you know once we're in a better stable place then you know we are able to do it peacefully and 
like with everyone there you know um so same here i hate breastfeeding every time i breastfeed it makes me it makes me so resentful but i love my baby that is something so sad you guys so i cannot relate to um feeling resentful but i did feel kind of sad whenever i would get the letdown um so i don't know what that has to do with with us breastfeeding but maybe that's what you're feeling either way if you feel that way i would recommend for you to get on formula i mean it's no reason for you to feel like that way I mean, if you do not enjoy breastfeeding then you shouldn't do it i mean it's not something that you have to. um either way your baby's gonna get fed another secret is i have a sugar daddy that's actually really cool i want to know more <laughs> one time a girl was talking shit because i am a mentenida but i cook clean and i attend my man i don't know what to say to that I feel like you just shouldn't let people let get to you i mean if he doesn't say anything and if you guys are okay then who cares i'm a mama to an angel baby miscarried before my ex both 17. oh that's so sad i'm sorry to hear that that's so heartbreaking i'm married and have a baby but i'm secretly still in love with an ex I'm going to school for engineering, but I lie to everyone and say that I'm doing general ed. The reason I lie is because I'm afraid it'll get so difficult where I'll give up and I'll have to tell everyone. Maybe you should tell people so that way you won't give up. Like for myself, if I tell someone like I'm going to do something, I would do it because pues pa que abri la boca. Like now I said that I'm going to do it, now I have to do it. I don't know how you are, you know, I don't know what you're going through like I said, but if it was me, I would tell people that way I can follow through with what I said and I will make sure i'll get that done and if you really want that as a career i feel like that's something that will motivate you always knowing that people know and you are gonna work hard for it having my baby a veces i rather lay down with her and sleep than have sex with my husband well i mean if you're tired and if you don't want to i mean you shouldn't have to. either that or he's just not doing his job i mean you should be able to both enjoy sex you know and and it's like whenever you guys both want to it's not just can't be whenever he wants to whenever he wants to feel pleasure like he's not doing something right or maybe you guys need just me to talk about it i think i fell in love with my brother-in-law dang i don't know I don't, if it's your sister's husband i don't know what to tell you if it's your boyfriend's brother i mean i guess it, it makes it a little better than being your sister but i feel like that's still a little messed up i really like this guy at work but i have a man <laughs> I had a fling with my baby daddy's high school friend and he doesn't know it. Well, I mean, if it was just a one-time thing and you weren't with your baby daddy, then he never has to find out. I mean, I fucked my man's brother on some drunk shit. I like women's feet. I actually know who you are and it's hilarious. One time I found out who he was and he like threatened me to... I took screenshots and he was like, you better take it down. He wasn't threatening me like he was going to do something, but he was just like, you better, you better, B-I-T-C-H, like calling me names like that. But I know who you are, which is hilarious, which is fine. I mean, if you like women's feet, cool, whatever. People, people think I'm good financially, but we live in our car. Wow, that's really heartbreaking. Some people actually live in their car because they like living in their car because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where girls have like their, their, um, their RV like made into like their own little house and they actually love it um if it is something that you do not wish for if you did not wish for then I feel for you and you know whatever I can do hit me up if I you want me to like help you out and whatever I can do maybe if you set up a GoFundMe you know maybe I can tell my followers about it or something and hopefully they can help you out as well I was raped by my brother and no one knows he's married to and has kids damn you have to let someone know that's not okay and plus to top it off because you are not telling anyone anybody you are i mean risking it it can happen to you again and i feel like that's horrible you should never go through that nobody should go through that but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun making it and it was really interesting i mean seeing all of your secrets and it's just you never really know what, what people go through you know nowadays but I'm going to end this video because Bella is crying. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys in the next one. I'm going to do the post notification shout out. Okay, so today's post notification shout out goes to Brenda Stevenson. Thank you so much for commenting on my video and for keeping up with me. And if you guys would like a shout out, all you have to do is, of course, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, and give me a like. And with that, I think I'll just talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!
ser buena y ahora es ella quien los usa Que porque un hombre le pagó mal, ya no se le ve sentimental Dice que por otro mal no llora, oh, pero si le pone la canción 